This is the RBT training video on reinforcement, part three, schedules of reinforcement. So, um, the definition of a schedule of reinforcement, sorry. Um, the schedule of reinforcement refers to how many times you have to do a behavior before you get reinforcement. So what we've been talking about reinforcement is like behavior and what is what consequence does it pr produce that reinforces it. Um, but that's not, it, it doesn't always happen every time. Sometimes behaviors have to happen several times before you get reinforcement. Um, so we call it a continuous schedule when every single response is reinforced. Um, and we call it an intermittent schedule when some but not all responses are reinforced. So just to demonstrate what this would look like with our learners. Do I have Do I have oh. oh no. False alarm. <laughs> we could go buy a world famous chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Great time. <laughs> Oh well, we'll pretend that this pen is candy. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate it with praise, like a simple yes, no. Courtney, are you ready for a little I'm thing? I'm so can, ready. <laughs> so this is, we're going to demonstrate continuous reinforcement. So get it sometimes right, sometimes not right. We're going to say the pen, oh no, we're just going to give a little pretend candy. Be like, here. So in so this example, to eat it too. yes. Okay, yes. Um, in this example, she's gonna get continuous reinforcement for correct imitations. So sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. But don't do a lot wrong. All right, got it. <laughs> okay. Actually, we did, but we won't do that. Um, so praise is gonna be continuous. Actually, praise and candy are both going to be continuous. Every time she gets it right, she gets it. Um, do this. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Kandaroo. Do this. Yes, you get candy. Do this. No. Do this. Yeah, candy. And that, even though it was after a no, sometimes it's kind of different. Um, do this. So that was every time she got it right, she got candy. If she got it wrong, she didn't get candy, but that's not the behavior we're looking at. We're looking at correct imitations. Um, so this would be, so now we'll do an intermittent one. She's, praise is still gonna be every time. Um, candy is gonna be intermittent. So pretend this is a skill that she knows already. It's following simple instructions. Um, so pretty much get them all right because this is gonna be something where You've mastered it already. Are you pretending to be a... No. <laughs> for real. Are you a character? No. I stepped out of character. I got sleep okay. on my... Just to know. Just <laughs> what a weird behavior that kid would have. Just suck their shirt. Okay. Right. It's true. Um, okay. So, still have the candy. And then this is a skill that she has down. We're just practicing it. And so candy is going to be intermittent, meaning that it, every time she does it right doesn't mean she gets candy. Like every few times. Um, touchy nose. Very, very good. Put your hands up. Yes, that's it. Clap. Woohoo, candy. All right. Stand up. Candy. Whoop. Sit down. Good job. Um, touch your ears. Very nice. Where are your eyes? Yeah, candy. So, <laughs> so as you can see. <laughs> so that's kind of what that looks like. Continuous versus intermittent. That's all that means. It wasn't a pattern either. You like threw it in. It wasn't yeah. like every intermittent three Intermittent doesn't or not necessarily yeah. mean every three. It can mean, it just it just means not every single time. What? What is that? Oh, oh it's right. It's blocking no. that. Oh. Oh, it's the Okay. Um, so that's that. So that was kind of a therapy demonstration. And then in real life, these types of schedules are everywhere. So some examples of a continuous schedule of reinforcement, number one is a water faucet. This is most of the time. Like how many times, like when you turn the faucet, how many times do you have to turn the faucet for the water to turn on 
like once it does it every single time it's not like one of these times i'll get it my water will turn on hopefully when you wash your face in the morning and brush your teeth you're not like come on baby do it <laughs> big money big money <laughs> okay all of these have exceptions where obviously like your faucet might be broken um another one is like a coke machine ideally if it's working you put your dollar press button is behavior coke every single time of course this isn't always true sometimes they're broken but a working coke machine should be like behavior coke behavior coke behavior coke um another example is and this is also like in a in an ideal world <laughs> when you turn your car ignition it turns on like a lot of times you do have to be like come on come on come on come on, come on. it takes five but pretending this is a brand new car turn on turn on turn on there's no like oh maybe maybe it'll do it maybe it won't um and most like electronic devices power buttons your television you press button it turns on your phone press button turns on it's not like hang on of course that's not always true sometimes you're like Argh! but um so for these continuous schedules what is the effect of the schedule on behavior so if you think about turning your car what is your what is your car turning behavior look like really? it kind of it's like it happens when you need it and then that's it like faucet turning on the faucet it's pretty like you turn it you know you turn it once and it's on and it only happens when you need the faucet water same thing with your car like you don't go Maybe if I turn on my car, you're not like randomly going out to your car and saying like, maybe, maybe, maybe this time, maybe this time. You're just like, I need to drive, do it. Um, so real life intermittent schedules when behavior is reinforced only sometimes. Woo woo, Facebook, or checking your Facebook. So a lot of people do this, very, very many people do this obsessively. And part of the reason is because you never know what you're gonna see on Facebook. So like sometimes you check and it's like, ugh, no alerts, nothing exciting, same stuff as before. Sometimes you check and it's like, my best friend's baby, uh, somebody liked my post, somebody commented on my post, and you can't predict it, it's just like random. Um, another one is a slot machine. If we went to Vegas and pressed a slot machine and money came out, like press money, press money, press money, then Vegas would not be in business so you need to do the behavior of like well depends if it's an old machine or new or you know pull the slot you need to do that a lot of times before you get the payoff um, another one is phone calls every time you call someone you don't get the reinforcement of contacting them so that's why sometimes you see like oh my gosh I have 30 missed calls <laughs> because <laughs> people have to do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. They're trying to get a hold of you. Um, another one is, this is not turning on the TV. This is changing the channel. So you're in a situation, you're watching TV. I don't like this show. It's boring. Change channel. You're, there's no guarantee that you're going to like the next show. So you keep going, 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 going. And maybe after you change it four times, then you get the reinforcement of a show you like. And you get bored of that. And it's like, I'm going to change the channel change 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 this is maybe before like the guide <laughs> when you could just like change 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 and then you find something that you like so it's not like every time and then so what type of behavior does this schedule create I'm constantly doing behavior. yeah it's like persistent so you do it more times obviously it kind of just makes sense like if you only have to turn on the faucet once to get water then you're only going to turn on the faucet once to get water if you need to pull the slot machine 300 times to get money then you'll do that because that's the requirement of the schedule um so application for us at when we're working with our kiddos um a continuous schedule like we said it only occurs when the motivation is there it's when you get you know you don't get like this like ah, intense behavior you just get basic behavior but we do use the schedule to teach new behavior because we have to show the kid that this does get reinforcement some of the behaviors we're trying to teach are very either difficult for our kids or maybe they're paired as being aversive like we want our kid to come sit with us at the table and work but in school 
they're exhausted by work. And so work has become aversive and nothing, you know, they're just forced to sit at the table, it's awful. So they're gonna avoid that. We have to show them that every time they come sit down, something good will happen. Um, and if we don't do that, we might lose them. And then on the other hand, inter intermittent schedule creates persistent behavior. Um, and then this is what we wanna use long-term to maintain the behavior that we teach. So if you teach your kid to sit nicely while you're working, and so every 10 seconds they sit, you say like, yes, this is so good. You're sitting so nicely. And every trial they do correctly, you say like, that's awesome, it's amazing. But what happens in a classroom for first graders, like they're not getting all kinds of praise for just sitting there and doing their work and they're doing a lot of work. Like what is a first grader, how many responses do they do before they get praise from their teacher? Like a lot of responses or they just never get it. Um, so a kid can do like 30 math problems and then the reinforcement is getting to turn the math sheet and go to recess. And so that's where we want to head with our kids because that's real life. Um, so when you move, this is our goal. We want to move from continuous to intermittent. Once we see that our kid is doing the behavior, like, okay, we got it off the ground. Now we want them to persist with it and do it all the time. Um, we have to change it to intermittent, but what happens, it's called thinning the schedule. So before it's like this very thick, dense schedule of reinforcement, it's like every time you get a piece of candy and then we're going to like thin it out. So you have to do it 10 times and then you get candy. But what happens if you move too quickly? The good behavior stops, and sometimes you see bad behavior. Um, so this kid is obviously very frustrated because maybe um, you told them, "Here, let's do let's do these math problems." And so you say, "Do the first one." Oh my gosh, you're brilliant! I didn't realize you were so good at math. What's the answer here? Yeah, you're so smart. Okay, do the rest of them, <laughs> and it's like 40 problems. And sometimes that's what we do, and then that's when it's like what you just hit a cliff and and they weren't persistently responding already to push them through that for the rest of the page and now they're like no i'm done um what happens if you do it too predictably so this imagine that you have a neighbor and it's like a nice elderly lady and so one day she asks you or maybe you offer to come like help her with something in the house because she doesn't have anybody lifting with her and it's like you dust something high up and then that happens and she says like, oh, thank you, dearie. And then you're like, cool. And so the next weekend you offer it again because you're like, you know what, she doesn't have a little living with her. Like, she, you know, she really needs this. And she has you move boxes and do the dusting again. And then the next weekend she has you do three things. And the next weekend she has you do four things. And the next weekend she has you do five things. And if suddenly you're like, mm. So it's predictable. You're realizing what's happening. Like, oh, she's, it's never gonna, it's never gonna stop. <laughs> she's increasing it every time. Then what happens to your behavior? Um, quit helping her. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of are like, I see what you're up to, lady. And you, because you can see where it's going, even though it is going slowly, like you know where it's headed. And you're like, I, you know, you start engaging in avoidant behavior by saying like, oh, actually I have all this stuff to do this weekend, sorry. And that's what happens with your kids. If you're like, let's do one trial, now two trial, now three trial, now four trial. They're like, oh, I see where this is headed. I'm going to go back to running away from the table because it worked pretty good before. So when you do move, you want to keep it unpredictable. And so these are some examples. So say you have a kid who um, you're trying to reinforce. You don't even really care too awfully much about correct versus incorrect yet because they're having a really hard time sitting through trials at the table. You just want them to sit and participate and at least try. Um, so you might start with like, this is one one trial reinforcement two trials three trials right here what type of schedule is that with the one 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 mm -hmm. that's continuous because they're getting reinforcement every time and then you're like okay they're kind of like liking this i'm going to thin it out and then you require two um but then it doesn't go straight to three you go back to one one time and then it goes to three and then back to two three four back to one so at this rate they're not going to say you know what, I don't want to come to the table because now you're going to make me do 10 trials. They're going to say like, well, last time I only got one. So let me just keep persisting. Um, and this same type of a thing, say you're working with a kid and they do not want to go to the 
the um, the cafeteria or for one of our kids it might be they don't want to sit at socials group um, you do the same thing as uh, you can see it's the same but you want to do continuous continuous and then increase it number one gradually and also very importantly unpredictably so that you get that slot machine behavior like if I just keep sitting here quietly I might do it because what do we do with slot machines we do it like 300 times because every once in a while it shows up like oh I only had to do it two times so that unpredictability will really really help you when you're working with your kiddos um, unpredictability is what causes the learner to persist with challenging behavior so this is what we see um, when kids engage in target behaviors or challenging behaviors like elopement or aggression because it gets out of the task it doesn't get it out every single time but they still do it and why it's because of this schedule um, so sometimes it's like <clears throat> if a kid uh, talks back to their parent and says like I'm not gonna do it sometimes the parent follows through and it's like no we're doing it and they follow through but sometimes they don't so it's like the kid doesn't know whether that behavior will work so why not try um, and occasionally a kid might say like I'm not gonna do it and they say yes you are no I'm not yes you are no I'm not Puh. yes you are no I'm not mm -hmm. fine go to your room <laughs> so in that instance a lot of behavior was required so now they're gonna persist 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 um, and it causes something called resistance to extinction it's hard to make that behavior extinguish and go away because the, the person doesn't know whether or not it'll work so they just try 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 and this is the same that slot machine effect where they just go 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 so all we have to do is flip it um, and it's the same schedule that causes a learner to persist with good behavior um, so this is how we take advantage of the same mechanism that helps that sometimes um, causes this problem behavior um, occasionally you want to stress the re response requirement like here we put it all the way to 10 and then occasionally you reinforce force early like even though we were getting all the way up to six and eight over there where is it <laughs> we still went back to one randomly um, and then you see the slot machine effect with good behavior rather than difficult behavior, challenging behavior. And that is schedules of reinforcement. Yeah.